you kicked a goal or two. Uh, how many did you actually snag at the end of the night? Four. Just a lazy four. Not a lazy one. It's hot work out there, isn't it? He's a showman. There's no doubt about that, mate. Where did you get those wheels? <laughs> you got them on eBay? Yeah. Well, how do you feel when they lose games of football? Uh, bad. Bad. What happens? What do you do? I have a hissy fit. Oh, you have a hissy fit? <laughs> <laughs> Any last words? I knew that would be the answer. Look at those little legends there. If you've ever been to an AFL game, you would have seen those little tackers having a kick at half time. They're all part of the NAB AFL Auskick program. And what a magnificent program it is for developing confidence and teaching teamwork and other life skills for these kids. Joining us now is the 2009 NAB AFL Auskicker of the Year. His name is Kyle Skeen, and we've also got his mum, Sharon. Welcome to the circle, guys. Now, Kyle. Tell us, first up, big fella, because you won it last year, tell us what you have to do throughout the year, uh, winning the NAB sort of Rising Stars uh, trophy. What did you have to do? Uh, well, I got Joel Sold as my mentor for yeah, last year, yep. and he did a lot. We, I went to the movies with him at Christmas. What did you say? Cloudy and the Chance of Meatballs. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and what else? Did you get to go to any functions or the, the grand final or anything like that? I went to the grand final and gave the medal to him and oh. at the end of the year I went to the NAB Rising Star. Look, we have it here. This is Joel Selwood winning the premiership, getting his premiership medal oh, and there's yeah. little Kyle there. Look at those big arms, Kyle. Now you're a Carlton man, aren't you? So eventually you want to play footy for Carlton, don't you? Yeah. Were you, were you happy the other night when Chris Judd won the brown line? Yeah, I stayed up for the whole thing. <laughs> um, Mum said, next day you get on a bed, and I begged her to stay up. So. Oh, Mum. Were you stay bored up. watching it like I was? <laughs> no. Oh. So, no. Sharon, can I ask you the benefits that you've seen mm. in Kyle through this program? Yeah, look, it's been massive. Um, the change in him from this time last year since he won. He's um, he's just experienced so much through Auskick. He's um, yeah, his schooling's improved because Joel's really um, taught him a lot of things along the way. What's important, and um, yeah, he's just become yeah, he's just become really mature compared to this time last year. And yeah, it, like not many kids get to experience what he has experienced. So we're extremely lucky. Were you ever yeah. worried about him ruining his beautiful face? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh, it's um, just me. Yeah. <laughs> You get, you'll, you'll be right. When, you get, when Leo gets older, you'll learn to let him go. Yeah, finish. no, he's just, yeah, he, it's been amazing. And we have, yeah, just so much to thank to AFL and, and NAB as well. So, well, I was kicking yeah. over here, they get some great prizes. I mean, what a part of the prize do you think he's benefited the most? Definitely Joel, yeah. yeah. He, he won the $5,000, but, um, wow. and, and just all the... Five grand, what'd you do with that, man? I haven't spent it. Yeah, you're right. Well, with the grand finals on this weekend, me and you, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, Joel, I, I mean, for kids out there, Joel Selwood, uh, he's an ab rising star himself. And he's yeah. just a young, uh, he's a superstar of the game. So to have Joel to take you to the movies, to mentor you, I mean, were you nervous when you were with Joel or was he really, was he relaxing around you, Kyle? Uh, the first time I met him, it was probably, I was a bit shy. Yep. But we got used to each other and then now we're really used to each other yeah. so <laughs> did hey. you you've spent so much time with him can you tell us about any habits that maybe other people don't know about anything you've seen his pick his nose yeah. <laughs> hey what did he buy you for your smell. birthday he bought me a little chris jard like oh. yeah and then he also Bought me a towel. Lots of Carlton yeah, stuff. Yeah, did he really? Mm. And you also did on before the game this year. Uh, is it true you were also part of Fitzy's draft camp? Is that right? Yeah. Well, you didn't win it because you obviously <laughs> weren't good enough, Kyle. But uh... <laughs> oh, no, Ky can I say Kyle was very good because we yeah, he had to do a press conference. We threw questions at him, and it was quite hard, wasn't it? I didn't do the first oh, one. Oh, right, OK. You must have done another one. Right, OK. Well, that's good to hear, Can Kyle. we get your tip before you go, Kyle? Who's going to win, do you think, the Saints or the Pies tomorrow? Collingwood's probably going to win, but I'm barracking for Saints. Good man. We like that.
Congratulations. Can, uh, can everyone please thank Kyle and Sharon for joining us? Thank you. And we also have to say as well, well done to the NAB for their support of Auskick, which makes Auskick accessible and affordable for all families everywhere. As you've heard, it's a great program. And if you want some more info, there's a link up to the NAB Auskick website on the Circle website. It's Friday and you're with the girls on the Circle. Yes, thank you, Mal. Good evening outside the mighty MCG. It's been a grey old day today. Same story tomorrow, though, a little bit warmer. But the good news on, well... Good news for some. There look like there may be a couple of showers now Sunday afternoon or even on Saturday when it will get to around 20 degrees. I'm sort of all over the shop because the kids are all around me. We are looking at some of the stars of tomorrow. It is the NAB Oz Kick Heroes. Now, I want to show you some vision of what happened just a little while ago. A couple of former footy greats, uh, Matty Lloyd and also Dipper, addressed the young footy players and their parents before they ran out to the G for a kick. And later tonight, the 2010 NAB AFL Oz Kick of the Year will be announced. The winner picking up $5,000 and Joel Selwood as a footy mentor next year. How good is that? And all 22 nominees will hit the G at halftime and then later present the medals to the 2010 Premiership players. And boy, are they enjoying themselves or what? OK, let's talk about today's weather. 11 degrees in Melbourne this morning, 16 degrees this afternoon. And again, a fairly gloomy old day, which is not good. Right now, 13 degrees, a humidity of 55%. And the wind's been a south southwesterly all day, currently blowing at around 11 kilometres per hour. Another forecast for Melbourne itself, partly cloudy tonight, morning cloud tomorrow. And that'll actually disappear for a fairly sunny afternoon. How good is that for the parade? Around 21 degrees, your maximum. And the winds tomorrow will be west northwesterly. Out on the bays tomorrow, winds blowing for the most part from the northwest to southwest at 5 to 15 knots. And now for the big one, partly cloudy, 10 to 20 degrees, possibly some afternoon showers. Sunday 20 and Monday 21, then colder and wet. Time now for our snow report and up at Falls Creek, here's Sammy. Thanks, Mike. Fantastic spring conditions once again with the mountains seeing a mostly sunny week. Looking around the resorts now, 13 lifts here at Falls Creek are expected to be running with some fun skiing on summit on an average base of a metre. Hotham should see seven lifts with Race Gully the pick. Mount Buller should see 16 lifts spinning, while Sporbore expect four lifts for skiing and boarding this weekend. The forecast suggests some more fine and sunny weather right into the weekend. And with footy fever in the mountains, it's time for you to take mark of the year. Woo! Back to you, Mike! <laughs> Oui. And it's even changed colour. How's that for the magic of television? That is the forecast on this wonderful night tonight. And have a look at these guys. Nice indeed. Let me just see you tomorrow night. Mal.